today's subject, I had a guy earlier from JBLM ask me if I'm scared of the military. I say yes. And I, I don't think I, we finished the discussion. But the, the, they keep taking me places like the, the Paloyas and Salvador Lunas. I was supposed to murder their entire family, all the children, for the FBI. So they couldn't be questioned on what they were doing with the military. It, 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 the FBI and the military together uh, set up a situation to get a bunch of children ki- killed at a family party. Yo, how's it going, Martin? Pretty good. I'm just trying to explain something. Why, some, I was talking to a guy earlier from JBLM, and he asked me if I'm scared of the military, you know, don't like the military. And I was like, yeah. And I didn't get to explain why. And I, I, I really want people to understand the military and the FBI t- took me to this house in Tacoma of, with the, basically illegal immigrants, coyotes that bring yeah. in drugs, bring in drugs to the military base. And they set up a situation to have me murder all of the people and the children. So no, the, not even the children can go, oh, yeah, my dad, he worked with that airborne ranger guy in the drugs. They tried to have all of the kids murdered more than one occasion. And I, I like, yeah, I'm like, he, he was asking, me, are you scared of the military? Yeah, because when I refused to kill them the first time, they're like, take my hand, you know, help shit like that. It, um, they set it up again more than one time, more than one time they tried to get them all murdered. And then, and then literally I'm at a Christmas party, like, you know, I'm at a Christmas party with the Paloyas. Oh, the, not this, during the Christmas party. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a Christmas party. And then I start getting text messages of the original assaults and things like that to to give me a psychotic break while I'm with the family so that I could kill them, literally. The, and, the, and they were from the military. The FBI set it up. While I was in there at their house, my phone is blowing up with information about them assaulting me and my wife that I, you know, that I didn't remember up until the military reminded me after all the children were present. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, Look, it's it's messed up, Martin. Like, look, you know, I was just I was just talking about like, you know, on this earth, you know, I truly believe that there's people out there who are like oppressed and taken over by like some evil entities, you know? I mean, there's so many like uh unexplained things in this world, you know? Like, I mean, uh you know, like there's just some messed up people out there. Some real oh, yeah, bad. Yeah, so, like and you know how crazy this is. I think about so like you know Salvador Luna in real life with some people from Helly Hansen. They took me to a water park and laid me at the feet of this widower from from the service. Her husband had died overseas. Yeah, and I think about that. Like they had the international community document the the airborne the, them doing that stuff. So the air the FBI needed Salvador. They need him fucking murdered. They and then they set it up for me to kill him. And I'm like. Please remove me from this situation. Like, I don't understand yeah. why they keep putting it in there. Like, and you can ask sure. Salvador Luna, did you take, you can ask him, did you take Martin to a water park with some people from Ellie Hansen at the request of the FBI with Martin being tortured and it get documented? And if, if they document it, would they need you to be murdered so nobody would know that was documented to blackmail members of the military and train people to not trust the United States government? Yes. Yeah. This is what they're like, yeah, yep, yep. That's fucking scary. It's like, yeah, we oh, were supposed is. to kill yeah. Martin and it didn't work. And then, yeah, we were like, you can ask him. Like, yeah, we did that. I, 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 I just don't understand why, who, why, why did this happen to you? You know, like, what, it's the what, U.S. military. It's the United States military because they're perverts. It's disgusting. You know, it's a, it's, it's a, for Helly, I mean, think about how crazy it is. Helly Hansen, Helly Hansen uh, at a water park in Tacoma risked the lives of dozens of children. They were willing to have dozens of children murdered to for, for the shit that they were doing. Helly Hansen for advertising. For advertising. It was to, basically, literally, I want you to think about how crazy this shit is. If, if had, had the retaliation happened at Helly Hansen, it, right? I, all their employees die. And then they got that phrase, Helly Hansen, make me hella handsome. Well, I lend a helping hand, son, fighting terrorism. They got us. Everybody been, been buying Helly Hansen jackets, anti-terror, not knowing fucking Helly Hansen killed oh, their oh, own so employees. Oh, now she's selling merchandise, too. Like, yeah, let's, let's support this. this <laughs> yeah, see what oh I'm getting God. at? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, they're trying to sell merchandise, killing people. Helly Hansen trying to murder people so that they could be like, oh, look at my company. Oh, my God. We're so, uh, Helly Hansen, make us hella handsome. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honesty and integrity is part of our corporate policy. Well, we fight terrorism because we were a victim. No, you guys weren't a victim. It's a false no. flag mm -mm. with no. the FBI. It's a false flag shit for, with the FBI. Oh, I... It's it's just so messed up, man. It's so... I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, you know? Like, I mean, why it, people just decide to do some real messed up things, drag What's people the, So they get caught. It's the military, the Airborne Rangers, and the... This is what's crazy now when you think about it. The things I talk about, there's witnesses. So in real life, military intelligence from Lewis McCord, they have a thing that says they got to kill thousands of American citizens immediately upon an invasion. They're the first wave of people to... the you know, Lewis McCord, they're the first wave of people to kill American citizens. In the event mm -hmm. we go to war, this is and so why is this? It says because we've been torturing those American citizens, they will become allies of any enemy invader. You go, excuse me, Lewis McCord and Bangor Naval Base have been terrorizing American citizens for so long. In the event of an invasion, those American citizens will side with those invaders to seek freedom. So you have to kill them first. This is a, Lewis McCord. They have identified. Thousands of American citizens, in the event we go to war, they have to show up at churches, schools, and just start dropping bodies, and then tell the news the Russians got there first. Mm. That's scary to think about. I want you to think how crazy. You see, you see I'm, I'm the military. You watch me commit a crime, and I don't go to jail, right? Uh-huh. Now we're going to get invaded. It, my chain of command goes, did anybody see you commit that crime? We can't have them join in the enemy team. And I go, yeah. The person on my live feed saw me commit a crime. Well, it, when we're invaded, remember, he's the first person who got to be taken out because he's the enemy's reinforcements. That's real life shit, right? Mm -hmm. right? If you saw yeah. me as a member of the military commit a crime and I don't get I don't against you or your family or friends and I don't go to jail. Right. And then somebody's fighting me. You are you are the person fighting me reinforcement. Right. Because I was fighting you. Yeah. It's just yeah. So like, literally it, Lewis McCord has identified hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of American citizens they have to murder in the event we go to war because they'll be like, hey, Russia, come help us. They've been raping children in our community. Horrible. Horrible. I mean, you know, they're also focused on, like, population control and whatnot. You know, I mean, it's all nobody wants to believe that this type of horrible stuff happens, but, you know. Oh, dude, it's, not, it's so crazy. It's so, it's so common. Treason in my community is so common. It's just public. You can, I can strip you down naked, put a chain around your neck and walk you into a fucking grocery store and stomp on you. The police won't come. The fire department won't come. If I have a military, no, no. This is shit. if it says airborne Rangers on my uniform, I can fucking kill you and they will not do shit. I can beat you to death in the streets and they'll be like, that fucker was attacking that guy. And people yeah, no, like, but no, he was I mean, like, he was unarmed and he was naked and chained around his neck. They'd be like, uh-uh. You know, the, the, the guy was using the chain everything. around his neck. He said the guy around he had the chain around his neck. He was using it as a weapon against that entire airborne ranger unit. You know, it's like uh, you know, just like no in where I live, literally, in my, where I live, the airborne rangers can t strip you down naked and parade you around to the mall. Yeah, uh huh. It's yeah, so and... common. Nobody, it's so common. They can parade you around, and uh, it's, they don't call the police. They don't call the FBI. No one does nothing. It's so public. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, like says, if you're doing that shit on U.S. soil, it says the fucking Russians come. This is, this is the guy was asking me from JBLM, are you scared of, 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 of American soldiers? If the Russians come, I'm going to be the first one to be like, hey, can you help my neighborhood? In real life. Hey, Russians, there's airborne rangers over here attacking me and my wife and killing America. They killed some of my neighbors. To cover up pedophilia. Hey, Putin, can you send someone to Westmore? Homer Association. As a, as a U.S. military, that's a real concern, right? You've been attacking me in my neighborhood. Whoever comes is my whoever comes to stop you is my fucking friend. Yeah. It, a, it don't matter if it's Tehran, Russia, China, North Korea, MS-13, the Bloods, the Crips. It don't matter. Whoever's stopping the U.S. military is my friend. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, it's just, I don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, what, are the Freemasons behind this shit? I don't know. <laughs> That's just the, it's just the, mil the military is very corrupt. Yeah. Just, uh, faster, I was talking, I tell them yesterday, I was talking yesterday, because they say they win all their, you know, their missions. Every Most missions are successful. I'm like, they got like a 99% success, success rate on missions. I'm like, you, you, your missions and your incursions are so successful. You've won so many of them in a row. We lost every war. 
This is, now, this is, now the enemy, the, when we lost the war, when the enemy goes, look, we won, we won this battle on this hill that the United States say they won. We won this battle on this beach that the United States say they won. We won this battle in this jungle that the United States say they won, and we won the war. And the United States is at home telling their whole country they won every battle but lost the war. Literally, right now is the United States coming. Did we win the war in Afghanistan? No, we lost, but we won every battle. Like, yeah. Well, if you win every battle, you don't lose the war. And they go, Shh, the public don't know that. You, how did the Vietnam War go? They go, we lost yeah, every yeah, fucking battle. We, go, we lost yeah. every battle. Yeah. It, That's what I'm like explaining. Like, now, I guess we lost every battle in, in Afghanistan, and they won the war. And the United States, so they'll tell you, we won every battle in Afghanistan, almost every one. Well, how do we lose? Well, because we're lying about winning. This is a cosplay. This is a, the Airborne Rangers, cosplayers. They've 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 won so many w wars for us. They've lost every war. That's not how that makes sense. They've won so many wars. We've lost every single one of them. They've won so many. We haven't won yet. But as long as they tell you, as long as they tell you they're winning, you're not going to check, are you? As long yeah. as they tell you they're winning. Now, this is, this is real life. Have they won any wars? Do you, do you, if you go to a church, do they have the technology to even teach you basic education like they do in a third world country? No, they don't have a monstrance. They don't have a working one in China because every airborne ranger unit in Washington state or your state has lost. They yeah. went to war in real life. You look, the airborne rangers went to war with Russia and China so that you could have a working monstrance in your church. It's a real life shit. Yeah. The Nazis wiped out. Hold on, listen. The Nazis wiped out the tried to wipe out the Jews, right? Uh -huh. Let's talk. It's real life shit. The Nazis were trying to wipe out the Jews. They go why? They go because they didn't want a working tabernacle, monstrance, or sun disc in every church so everyone can see God. Hitler did not want that, so he wiped them all out. And then they go, what happened? We went to war so that Hitler couldn't stop us from putting those things in churches everywhere and awakening the world. Uh -huh. And we won. We killed him and we won. So then you go to the church and go, thank God we won the war so we could have this information. Hey, pastor, preacher, deacon, whatever you are, can I see these things? Because we won the war. They go, we don't have it. They just said we won. We didn't really win. They lied. As you go to your church right now and ask them, can I have the device, the monstrance that we fought Hitler to have in my church that you guys say we won and I have? You don't have it. This is a, like, just a fucking crazy. Like you say you want, you, you defeated Hitler when he was trying to prevent the world from knowing how the, how Hebrews use a tabernacle, sun disc or monstrance to see God, right? Yeah. Hitler went around. He, he had a, we went to war with Hitler because he didn't want people to see God. They said, hell no, we're not going to stop you, Hitler. From We're going to stop you, Hitler, from stopping us from putting these monstrances in our church. Martin goes out of town. No matter where he goes, there's going to be a working monstrance in his church. He's going to know how the, why they wrote the Bible and what the Bible means. He's going to have the device. And Hitler went, fuck, no, he's not. And we went to war. And at the end of the day, the United States said, we, we defeated the Germans. We won. And said, yeah. cool, I'm going, to go to, I'm going to the church right now to get this monstrance and have them show me this body of light that they say we're created in the image of. Because we won the war. Hitler didn't win. Right, Hitler didn't win no power over our church. My church can show me because Hitler didn't win. And you go to the church and they go, "Can I have this device that we killed Hitler, uh, so I could see?" They go, "Well, they say we won the war, but we don't actually have the stuff." That's yeah. fucking fascinating. A church says, "Well, they say we won, we we won, but I don't have it." And then you go, "Okay, you say, okay, that's okay." You go, "That's okay. It must be at a different church." This is a fucking fascinating. It's okay. It must be at a different church. They go, "Well, actually, I've been a, pe a preacher for." 15 years i've never come across the church that actually got that information that they say we won in the war that's a fucking crazy like we went to war with hitler and we have a fucking national uh, genocide day and like mourn this shit like we, we defeated hitler so you could have a monstrance in your church they're like yep and we celebrate it that you won and you have one yep and you don't have it nope does anybody have it nope and i go none of you have it but you're saying you won it where is it at? They go, well, we didn't actually win it. We just tell Americans that they won it. Yeah. It's... So you fucking lying to America about winning the world war? So you've lied to the whole fucking country about defeating the Nazis? Psychological operation. Yeah, yeah. Right? Just a sign We're going to tell you we defeated the Nazis. 
and you probably won't go to your church to ask for the, the information to see if we actually did, will you? Now I'm going to help you, right? You've heard of, you've heard of, of the Holocaust, right? You've heard of this? Yeah. Right? G Hitler and the Germans tried to kill the Hebrews, the, the Jews, so they couldn't teach the world how to use a tabernacle monster or sun disc and see God. And the world went, we got to stop this man from stopping the world from seeing God. Hitler can't do that. And they, they say, we killed him and won the war. Now go to your, go to your local and ask permission to say that they, that they won your freedom to have because they don't have it. And so the airport. So I asked for the tabernacle. That's what I do. Yeah, ask me, I can I have a working tabernacle to see Yehovah or Yahweh from Judaism? We killed Hitler. There's a we killed Hitler and stopped the Germans so that I could so you could have one to show me. That's why we won the war. Can I see it? They don't have it. And you go, well, but you say we won you say we, we have it and we won the war. This is the whole Airborne Ranger unit lying to the entire country about winning a war. The whole it's, it's not just one unit. Every Airborne Ranger unit, every fucking one of them has been lying since that since since we defeated Hitler. From day one, they've been lying since day one. Now, just don't don't believe. There's 16 people in the feed. One of you guys, check your church. Can I have a tabernacle, monster, or sun disc from this church, this synagogue, or this mosque in the United States, so I may view this body of light that Christianity calls the Invisible Creator, or Judaism calls Jehovah? Right? We 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 defeated Hitler and the Germans so that this could be in this building. Can you show it to me? One of you yeah. guys after. Yeah, one of you guys better ask it. You better you go up there. You ask, show me the body of light that is real light. Ask Hebrews. Hebrews what? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, that, 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 show me show me that tabernacle. What's the deal with tabernacles? It, it, it allows you to see a, an, a hue in the shape of a man. There's a body of light that you're created. You're called a human, right? Yeah, we're, we're created in, in the uh, image of God, right? Yeah, now we're going to get somewhere. In Christianity, they have the ability to allow you to see the God that you're created in the image of. Mm -hmm. Now I'm asking, we defeated Hitler, so your Christian church can allow you to see that body of light that you're created in the image. So I'm just saying, if you're a Christian, why isn't your church allowing you to see that? We won it, We fought a world war so that you could. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you said, we're, we're created in the image of God, an invisible body of light, right? Uh-huh. There's called a, a monstrance tabernacle sun disk. In Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Catholicism, Hinduism, Buddhism, every religion. It allows you to, there, there really is a body of light. Now, and they tell you the seven seals of revelation, right? In Christianity, mm -hmm. this body of light comes out of the seven seals of revelation, literally. It's all real, but just not the way they tell you. But ask your church, you know, where's this? Where's the working device that you say we won the rights to have in, in, when we defeated Hitler? I mean, they literally are saying they killed Hitler so that you could have it, and then you don't have it. So, so we didn't really win the war then, did we? Right? If you don't have that information, if Hitler doesn't, Hitler didn't want your church to have you, to give that information to you. If it's 2022 and your church is still following rules set in place by Hitler, did we win the war? You know, to be honest, I, and you know, I never even heard that Hitler was doing that stuff. You know, I mean, they're but that was the whole point of the Jews, but I, I, I uh, exterminating the Holocaust, killing people in the know, so they couldn't, so the rest of the world couldn't be taught. And I think that's fascinating, right? You're, you're a Christian, I and mean, the whole world's like, yeah, we went to World War and we killed Hitler, so we could have this information about God. He was trying to wipe out the Jews from, so they couldn't teach us, but we got it. And they go, okay, you got it. Well, tell me it. They go, well, we don't actually have it. We lied. The Airborne Rangers lied. Yeah. But I got to get off. My wife was calling. Peace out. God bless. Oh, uh, yeah. It was, it, it was a pleasure. It was an honor to be on this double live stream. Mm -hmm. Take care, Martin. You too.